let's see uh, how a, a newly installed agent and the infrastructure look like so this is one of the infrastructure which only have agent installed and the, nothing else set up so by clicking here we can open up the uh, host details uh, the host name normally host name listed here this is normally uh, in, in our case aws instant so aws instant id come here uh, name alias like fully quali qualified domain name comes here then cost host information simply they show as a summary including the ip address uh, the memory and the file system all they are showing here so additionally when we go down here uh, additional information is available like platform cpu networks memory all the informations we can see here this is the basic information of the server uh, not the dynamic one but fixed information additionally by default there are two modules enabled system and ntp normally when we install these modules are available as and then we are going and enable more and more modules like uh, uh, iis servers uh, apache mysql any database those also will be listed here so that we will see on the uh, next chapter here the matrices are listed so all the matrix and app related matrix will be listed not actually all but uh, um, the summarized view will be available here so we can see here cpu utilization and the all uh, process related memory listed here and the load average so some information available here anything we want to see about the host related little detail view uh, they have a small link to go to the host dashboard anyhow not a point this is a default dashboard there is a facility available for us to go and create whatever dashboard we want so this is simple view um, and they define and keep it for us to use it so both dashboards are same like custom dashboard or the default one simply they create default one like a template but we can go there and edit and use it or clone and use it or we can create our own dashboards dashboards can be exported as a uh, kind of json file um, so even templates available we can download and import and use also same as we export it that also one facility available so here the infrastructure we selected the server name showing here that related detail matrix available so we will see it in the later video later chapter but here see we can expand and see the uh, full full screen view of uh, the matrix and matrix parameters uh, same way we can go and edit and uh, edit also possible normally that's a facility here so if we go back here matrix next one is container so in case if we have a, a kubernetes or docker kind of thing to be listed here this is the process list to show here then network list any network we enable it will show here then logs if we onboard it will show the logs here traces so if we enable any traceability on uh, on an application running here then trace will come here same way security and uh, so i try to enable security but there is a bug uh, so we have to see that agent configuration so here they allow you to edit the agent file also some of the parameters you can edit through here also at least they will show us in the agent config what are the thing uh, currently in an enabled state so in the next set we will see how to enable process and let it view here right so simply the uh, that is we can do here so we will go to the server then uh, the config as i showed it's available on cd gpc agent so this is a data doc uh, yaml file is the one we have to edit so here something called process available so we have to search and see that one so process config right so this is a place we need to uh, uncomment this one this process config then uncomment process collection 
then on command enable make sure this is turned to true so i'm going to do that this is yaml file so indentation is important so simple way i'm doing is go to that word then delete so to delete we have to do a space and the hash code same do it here then the indentation will be correctly handled so one delete for space one delete for cache so here also same way one delete for space one delete for that comment word then this fall should be true done save it to make it reflect we have to restart so restart is system CTR stop and start or restart command also there. So this is L, yeah, system CTR, uh, Linux people knows that. Space, restart, data doc, hyphen, anything. So we had to run this command. So it will do the restart part. After doing it will take some time after that when you click the server the process will be listed so while it is loading or maybe small blockers anything may block it but before that I will show how the uh, already loaded one look like so once go to the process it will list down all the process simply it is listing the output of ps command ps minus ef or that command which we run that output shown here including um, CPU memory utilization. So quick view we can see what are the thing running and we can even short and see which is uh, doing a higher memory or higher CPU utilization in this area. Yes, so as we done it now this server also listing that and all the process running there. Actually this server I am running a a PHE website so Apache MySQL everything is there so we can see MySQL also there everything is there